everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with Birch Press Designs, and today we are going to feature their Folk Art Heart Layering Die Set. So again, just by choosing colors, we can make a picture change. So I'm going to be focusing on the three layers, and this is what they look like. So of course, C is the bottom, B is the middle, and A, of course, would be the top. Now, for our sentiment, we are going to use the thanks um, stamp set. We're not going to use the dies that coordinate with it, um, but I'm going to use the sentiment, you're in my heart. So these are the colors that I've chosen. So I've gone with a black, um, two shades of green, and ivory. So I've already cut some pieces. I've already stamped my sentiment. I've already die cut my layers and we're just going to adhere them together. So I'm starting with the middle layer and I'm putting my glue on that layer and I will adhere it to the bottom. So really this is layer B and then we're going to adhere it to layer C. And yes, I have a lot of lights on because, wow, do I have a glare coming off my glass mat. Woo! Okay. Sorry about that. So this is, um, while the center has uh, a wider area to layer on, this outer line for the heart is very delicate, but it is very simple to line up. So now I have my black cardstock. And that's going to be layer A, and I'm just going to put that over, of course, layer B and C that are already attached. So you can see I've got my black on top, and then I've got a lighter shade of the green, and then the darker at the bottom. So again, it helps to give that breakup, that difference between each of the layers. Now, when I put the uh, top layer on, since it's in black, I am going to make sure I take extra care to make sure everything is lined up. So I will use my tweezers just to snap those pieces back right on top of each other. And then I will set that aside to dry. So for these panels here, these are just simple squares. Um, I'm starting out with a four and a quarter square, and then I'm coming down with a four inch square. Then I'm going to come down with a three and three quarter inch square. And then finally, I'm going to be coming down to a three and a half inch square. So just by layering your solid cardstock, or a cardstock, it could be powder and paper, but you're creating this illusion without adding any foam squares or anything else like that. You're adding this illusion that this is coming up. So in previous videos, when I've put together these layering dies, you know, the question becomes, is it coming towards you or is it going away from you? So just by layering your cardstock with an even dimension or even uh, an even measurement going down you can get that same effect so again just by cutting um, simple shapes you can get that effect so before I put this on my standard a2 size card base which is four and a quarter by five and a half I'm going to place my square piece onto my glass mat so that I know what the center is. I do want to make sure that this is actually centered in the piece from side to side. Um, I'm okay if it's a little bit higher in that. For those of you that have seen my previous videos, I am one to not set something dead center um, in a block or a rectangle. So I'm going to place my sentiment, which I stamped on my ivory cardstock, and I only have one shade of the green sitting here. Um, 
I didn't, I could have added another one, you know, just to have the same effect that I do for the background. Um, but I did just want to go with the two layers, the black and another shade of green. So I'm going to trim both of these and then I'm going to make sure that this is placed going across towards the bottom of my standard A2 size card base. Now this card base is a top folding card base. So I'm going to set my sentiment down, see where it's going to hit, and then decide where I'm going to place my square. Now from side to side, it's going to go from edge to edge of the card base. So I do have and will have that space above and below. I'm going to use my double-sided foam tape by scrapbook.com, and I'm just going to place my pieces in place. And then I will set that down onto my card base. I must have left my overhead light on. Yeah, I probably did. So I'm going to remove the release paper. And then we're going to set this down. I want this to come just come down just from the top just a little bit because I wanted enough room for my sentiment so by using my liquid glue I now have that platform or that space in between each one I will use my scissors to trim each side of the card base And that is what our card looks like so far. And just to add a little bit of embellishment, I'm going to grab my Nouveau Drops. I don't give them the love that they need sometimes. Um, and the shade that I'm using as I just hit myself, sorry about that, is Bubblegum Blush. And I'm going to add that to the center of the flowers. And then I'm going to add three dots on each side of the sentiment. So they're going to be large right next to it and then get smaller as they go to each side. I, t I find myself, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I love my Nouveau drops and I have them in basic shades. Um, but I am a fan of the glitter drops or the, the stickles, um, those types of things. Very much so. So I do hope you enjoyed this project. Um, I hope I gave you some ideas um, just by using different colored cardstock. Again, you can change the complete image of um, the card that you're trying to make. So as always, the products that I use will be listed down below in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to stop by. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. Be part of my group here. If you've already subscribed, I am truly grateful and I will always continue to say thank you. Make sure you ring the bell so that you know when the next video is live and ready for you to view, and also hit that thumbs up. I hope everyone is enjoying their day, but remember what's most important to me, and it's got to be every day. Always be creative.